This video is all about 10 things you should do if you win the lottery. If you're new to this channel, my name is Timothy Schultz. I actually am a lottery winner. It's one of the things that happened to me. In 1999, I won the Powerball jackpot in the USA. It's one of the craziest, most surreal, life-changing things that has ever happened to me before going back to college to study journalism and broadcast news. Now, one of the things that I'm doing on this YouTube channel is covering lottery news and interviewing and meeting other people that have overcome the odds in various ways in life, which includes some other lottery winners. If you want to watch any of these interviews, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when they come out. But if you win the lottery tomorrow, next week, next year, that is the point of this video. What should you do? These are 10 of my top pieces of advice if this happens to you. Tip number one, store the ticket someplace secure. If you buy a physical ticket, there are many digital tickets, many people play on apps these days, but if you have a physical ticket, a physical piece of paper worth theoretically millions of dollars, what are you going to do? That is a liability if I have ever seen one. So you need to store this ticket someplace secure, like a safety deposit box or someplace where it can't be damaged by a fire or God forbid misplaced or stolen. Tip number two, keep quiet initially. <laughs> Once you see the numbers matching up, once you have won a lottery jackpot, which is possible if you play, if that happens to you, it can be extremely, extremely exhilarating, of course, can feel like an out-of-body experience. Like you're in a movie, you're living in a movie, at least that's the way it felt for me. It was really hard to come back down to earth initially. And so when that happens, what are you going to do? Some people might have the instinct to go out and spread the news to the world and tell everyone that they love and care about. I've even heard of people running down the street screaming and telling people. I mean, that happens, people do that. But my piece of advice here is to at least initially keep quiet until you get your ducks in a row and understand how to claim the ticket. Which leads me to tip number three, seek the help of experts. The average person that wins the lottery, that wins a major, major prize, does not have the experience and the background and they are not accustomed to dealing with that kind of money. If you came across $50 million tomorrow, what would you do with it? Do you know? Are you? Do you have that experience? The average person does not. I certainly did not have a clue what to do at 21 years old working at a gas station, just trying to put myself through college when I won the lottery. I did not have a first clue what to do with that kind of money. So one of the first things that I think anyone should do if you win a major prize is to contact and seek the help of financial advisors and attorneys, specifically estate attorneys, to help you understand what you are going to be doing with the money, how much you are actually going to be receiving, what the taxes are going to be. Are you going to put this money into a trust fund? Are you going to invest it? Where are you going to put it? It's a really bad idea to put that into a savings or checking account because it's not insured. So where are you going to put it? I made a video about how to find a qualified, trustworthy financial advisor. I will put a link to it right here. Tip number four understand the rules. Now, although many lotteries are similar throughout the world, there are also many differences. So understand the rules for the game that you are playing because depending upon the country that you live in, depending upon if you're in the United States, the states, the various states have different rules about how to claim the prize. This includes an expiration. Many of them have expiration. So if you don't turn in the ticket by a specific date, it might not even be valid. How heartbreaking would it be to turn in a lottery ticket one day after it has expired? They are not going to redeem that for you unless you do it prior to the expiration date. There are actually billions of dollars each year in lottery prizes that go unclaimed. Oftentimes it's because people are not checking their tickets. Tip number five, 
claiming a prize anonymously or publicly. Different states and different countries have different rules. Some places you can claim prizes anonymously without putting yourself out there. In other places, you do not have that choice. And sometimes it's somewhere in between where you can claim it perhaps anonymously under a business name or have someone represent you representing a group. There are different ways of doing it, but the different states and different countries have different rules. In many places, you don't even have a choice. So if you do claim it publicly, you have to understand how best to go under the radar if that is something you want to do. But regardless of whether you claim a prize publicly or anonymously, you have to also remember to come on to this podcast to talk to me because I can blur faces. I can disguise voices. I can make you sound like a robot if we want to. And we can keep any information discreet that you wish to keep private. Tip number six, cash versus annuity. If you win a major lottery jackpot in the United States, you will have to make a choice of choosing the lump sum half of the sticker prize right away or the annuity, which is all of it. So theoretically, if you win a jackpot worth $100 million, you will be faced with the choice of either taking half of it, $50 million right away before taxes, or taking all of it over a period of something like 29 years. And I have met people that have done both. I think there can be pros and cons to choosing the cash option or the annuity. Most lottery winners do choose the cash option. I made a video about this. I will put a link to it right here. But once you have the money, then one of the next things you should do is tip number seven here, which is hire a CPA, an accountant. Again, different places in the world have different rules and you should understand whether you will be taxed, how that is going to work. Even with the money that it's generating year by year, assuming that you invest it into something, that could be generating more money. So you are probably going to be taxed on that, depending upon where you live. And in the United States alone, the taxes really, really vary. Understand the tax implications and how you are going to pay them. Tip number eight, plan for the future. Once all is said and done and you have the money, you actually have what you are getting from a lottery prize, then plan for the future. What are your goals? If you wanna be financially responsible, you have to probably still live within a means. And that budget can really, really vary, of course, depending upon how much you win. If you win a million dollars versus 500 million or a billion, I mean, <laughs> the discrepancy there, the means is very, very wide for what you can do, but there still is a means. So you have to understand how much you can spend, what you are going to be doing with the money, what you are going to be investing it in, and how it can work for you. Tip number nine, charitable gifts. One of the first things I think you should do if you win the lottery, of course, if you are the giving type, if you want to help other people, which many lottery winners of course do, especially right after winning, is understand what you are going to do for charitable gifts. I have found from my experience and from some of the other lottery winners that I've met and interviewed on this channel that establishing early on what you are willing to do for other people and how that is going to happen or what you're not willing to do and what you can do or what you can't do, establishing that is important to do earlier on because if you win a lottery jackpot, not all lottery winners will tell you this, but for myself and for some of the other lottery winners I've met anyway, not everyone, but for some of them, you don't get the same level of respect. You have people that theoretically, potentially do sometimes come out of the woodwork and ask for money. So how are you going to deal with that? You need to come up with a game plan for what you can and can't do, what you are willing or are not willing to do and understand how to deal with that. Which leads me to the final tip of this video, which I think is a very, very important one. This is one of the most important tips of this video. Celebrate! You have just won the lottery. You have just won a lottery jackpot. I think it's an excellent idea to go out and celebrate. 
it's okay, depending upon how much you win, to splurge on something that you wouldn't have purchased before because it can be a once in a lifetime thing. Some people win the lottery more than once though, that can happen too. And it can happen to anyone if you play. And all it takes is one ticket for a chance to win. Remember, never spend more than you can afford. Have fun with it, but remember that you do have a chance if you play. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of these 10 tips? And do you have anything else that you want to add to it? I love checking out your comments. As always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support.